Good morning, everyone. We'd like to start the ceremony. If you would, those of you who would like a seat, if there's a seat available, please find it and have a seat. Otherwise, good to see you this morning on this beautiful day. On behalf of the Morris and Gwendolyn Caperts Foundation, it is gratifying to be here this morning for this ribbon cutting. This project was begun by my father, Morris Caperts, in the 1950s and gave me my first job working with a survey crew establishing grades for the future project. The site was then known as Riggs Plaza and originally had 15 multi-story buildings and three warehouses, all built in the 1950s. Riggs Plaza provided workforce housing to, for residents, many of whom continued to live here for generations. And some of those people are here today. Good to see you. I am personally pleased that this uh, neighborhood will continue to be a vital part, a vital location for the Washington, for Washington, D.C. residents for the, the, for the next decades. This project fits with the mission of the Caperts Foundation, which was founded by my father in 1948. The vision of the Caperts Foundation is to improve the lives of the citizens of the Washington metropolitan area. Cutting the ribbon of this new residence, the modern at our place, marks a continuation of my father's intent and a revitalization of the neighborhood. The location contains a broad cross-section of the city in terms of all demographics, age, economic status, professional status, and linguistic choices. It is a true reflection of the Washington metropolitan area. We are proud of this first phase of the Art Place project and look forward to bringing you future phases as the years go by. Now I'd like to turn the microphone over to my wife, Jane Lipton Capritz, who has worked tirelessly over the last several years with her talented team of experts to make this project a reality. Jane Capritz. Good morning, and um, I am very pleased to be here standing in front of you today. Um, when the foundation thought about um, the revitalization of Riggs Plaza, um, they looked at this important community in Washington, D.C., and recognized the valuable assets that were already here. We had a fantastic community at Riggs Plaza, and we had an amazing uh, transportation asset the Fort Totten Metro Center, which the city uh, infused a lot of capital into in the early 90s, 1990s. As you know, it's a transportation hub. It has a metro station that services three lines that intersect the red, yellow, and green, and it supports 800 bus trips a day. Based on that, we thought we wanted to create an, a new, a revitalized community that would meet best practices. And we looked at the first phase, which is you're sitting in now, which is the modern. And um, the idea behind the modern was to provide the best architecture, grade A housing for everyone. It includes 520 units, of which 140 are affordable and senior. And we welcomed everyone from Riggs Plaza to come and be part of this new building. Uh, one of the things that um, was very important to the foundation was to create a great community and a great destination. And we recognized that art is very important to every community. Uh, being able to express creativity, and it stimulates communication. And based on that, we named this first building the Modern. And it is, as you can look at the fantastic art that surrounds us, it's based on a nod to the Washington Color School, which was an important art movement in the 1960s and the only 
uh, internationally recognized art movement in Washington, D.C. to date. So, I'll, so please take a look. We have handouts that tell you who the artists are, and we hope that you will take um, a look at them. When we went about building, designing this building, we wanted to um, provide fantastic amenities so that the community would be able to live and uh, find resources here without having to, to leave the community. So we have this residential part, which we hope that you'll walk through, that has some amenities like a pool and a barbecue pit, a bocce court, a space uh, for making and craft making. It has a business center, places for small meetings, a media center, a child care facility, lounge areas, a senior reading corner, a first-class gym with a yoga room and an ANC office. In addition, the commercial component, which is 100,000 square feet, is not quite finished yet, but it will offer um, a 24-7 gym, a gym that's open all the time, a commercial gym, a pharmacy, an eye care provider, a dentist, coffee shop, eateries, an internet provider, and more services. And we, our intent is to provide a community where people can live and work in the same space. In addition, we are looking to um, the revitalization of the next phases, of which we are planning to house, explore, Children's Museum of Washington, D.C., and a children's theater. We believe that um, the museum is very important because it provides experiences for children that inspire joy, and creativity, and curiosity. Um, this museum currently has an innovation space in the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery that's been very successful. It's been open since January and it's had 15,000 visitors. And in addition, we have a bus that has innovation in terms of technology and has been to all the eight wards in the city, has serviced over 1,200 students, and has proven that technology is the great leveler. It doesn't matter where the child lives, technology is appealing to all. In addition, we hope that we look forward to the next phase, which will be a family-oriented recreation center. It will be all retail. We'll have um, amenities for the entire family and uh, food and all sorts of things. And in addition, at a future phase, we hope to house a school that not only emphasizes great academics, but also emphasizes creativity, and the arts. So with that, I would like to recognize a few people and thank them for being here. First, Mayor Bowser, would like to thank you for, for coming here today to do our ribbon cutting. And I wanted to thank the board of the Kayfords Foundation. I wanted to thank you for your support and, and contributions to the vision. Um, I wanted to thank... Um, uh, Mike Brewer, thank you for being here, sorry. And I wanted to thank the advice of the KFRIT's advisory board for your support, and of course the KFRIT's staff, Coralis Felder, Rohan Rodriguez, and uh, the dear Ed McGeo. Uh, Mayor Bowser, we're glad, we're delighted that you are here. Um, I wanted to thank Ward 5 Councilman Kenyon McDuffie for, for helping us, supporting us, DC Council members, our ANC Commissioner, Gordon Andrew Fletcher, our local partners and officers, and a shout out to um, our Ward 5 liaison, Lionel Gaines. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, we wanted to thank the residents of Riggs Plaza for being here and the residents of the Modern who've come down to join us today, and some of the important um, people and institutions that helped make this happen. We wanted to thank Prudential, Bank of America U.S. Trust, and J.P. Morgan Trust, uh, Chase, and Freddie Mac for believing in this revitalization project. I wanted to thank the D.C. Commission on the Arts and Humanities for your support of our neighborhood festivities and our amazing development team. Um, personnel from Holland and Knight, 
Wayne Quinn, Pete Evans, Janine Jackson, Janice Schiff. We wanted to thank Pillsbury, uh, Mike McNamara and Navigant, Patrick Kelly, Cornerstone Development, Shalom Baranis, our architect and, and lead architect, Jonathan Fischel. We wanted to thank Bry Folger and Cameron Pratt for their, as our construction contractor and our art consultants, uh, street scene art consultants. Bazuto Management, thank you for opening this new building and helping us run very smoothly. And I wanted to thank the um, board of the Explore Children's Museum who are here today. Thank you, Jeff Pulford, Bonnie Fogel, Judd Lipschitz, Nazar Ahmed, uh, Rose Carter, and Dorothy McSweeney, and the staff of the museum. And I wanted to um, uh, say a special, special thank you to the CCE staff. Mark Regulensky, Olivia Rubenstein, Matt Eisenberg, and James Spire. So um, without further ado, I wanted to uh, introduce the mayor who has made historical involvement, historical investments in affordable housing. We thank you so much. In addition to that, crime in Washington, D.C. is down. Our education is improving. And she has made Washington, D.C. the most attractive city in the entire country to live and work. So thank you, Mayor. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Modern. It is wonderful uh, to be here. Let me thank uh, the, the, the Gwendolyn and Morris K. Fritz Foundation. To Calvin and Jane, congratulations. It's wonderful hearing uh, about your experience here and your father's investment right here in Riggs Park in Riggs Plaza and your continued involvement in this community. Uh, we saw each other not too long ago, uh, and just before that, I had been across the street at UDC at Bacchus, uh, and I hadn't actually looked at the project from that perspective. And I said, wow, it is, uh, it's turned out to be even better than was predicted or promised. Uh, and I recently had a couple of experiences like that uh, where I knew what the plans were, but the reality was actually better than the plans. So let's hear it for the entire team that's been involved here. I think most people know that I've spent uh, most of my life about five minutes from this site. Uh, my parents who are here uh, raised us in North Michigan Park, so I want to give them a big round of applause. Um, I lived for 17 years just up the street on Oglethorpe Street. I walked all of these paths to get back and forth to the Fort Totten Metro. Uh, and I am just delighted to be joined uh, today with all of you by the leadership of the Lamont Riggs community. Uchenna Evans is here. Give her a big round of applause. Who's the president? Uh, and all of Riggs Park neighbors should raise their hands and we want to give them a wave. Thank you for being here. Um, Sharon Hines is the director of the Mayor's Office of Community Affairs and the former president of Lamar Riggs Citizens Association uh, and Riggs Park Neighbors. So I want to thank Sharon, of course, uh, for her leadership. Uh, many years ago, uh, we in Riggs Park saw it coming. We saw it happening. Uh, and we also knew that we needed more investment in the community. Uh, you were not going to find a better neighborhood. Neighbors committed to taking care of their homes, raising their families, uh, people who have really built the city. Uh, and they wanted to make sure that they would lead and guide the transformation of their neighborhood. I remember uh, early conversations with Jane, uh, and Jane should be acknowledged because I, I, I guess we could call this project your baby. Uh, and you have, sh and Jane and Calvin have shepherded. Uh, it along the way. One thing that was significantly important to the Riggs Park community was that Riggs Plaza uh, would live in another form. Uh, 
in that the development once uh, made would have many units uh, and that we have many units affordable to people along the whole spectrum of uh, economics. And I think that's what has been achieved here. The thing that I have learned about redevelopment projects like this is the, sh the, the sooner that they can happen from start to finish, uh, that is when you will have the, the highest likelihood of people who lived here before returning to the new project. And I think uh, that a model has been set by this project of focusing on getting started, having a quality project, and delivering that project on time. So I couldn't be happier about that. Uh, it is true that for the last three years, we have been focused on investing uh, in affordable housing uh, in our city. And the truth is, we have a lot of quality housing stock in all eight wards of Washington, D.C. Um, but it is important because uh, buildings and units developed in the 1950s without investment, uh, sometimes without revitalization, they won't remain affordable or quality for long. So it's always important that as we think about our housing stock uh, and owners of our housing stock, think about ways to revitalize it and reinvigorate it. It's also good to build around metro stations, isn't it? Uh, and to make sure not only are we adding housing, but but we're adding quality amenities. You heard about the vision uh, for Art Place, uh, to have retail, to have housing, to have cultural experiences right here on top of the Fort Totten Metro. We were just together a couple of weeks ago to open Culture Coffee 2 right up the street. Uh, and there I told our assembled residents who have been working on this project for 15 years over the three or four uh, different developments that are happening at Riggs Park right this second. Uh, and I said then, uh, Culture Coffee replaced a place called the Tiger Market. Uh, and the Tiger Market was not a place where, you know, anybody really wanted to go shop. They sold more lottery tickets in uh, 40 ounces of beer than they sold food. Uh, and now, these many years later, uh, we can see the types of developments that Riggs, Riggs Park and North Michigan Park uh, and the greater Ward 4 and Ward 5 communities want uh, developed. So people are pushing strollers uh, to the Petco and to the Five Guys and to Culture Coffee, too, and soon to the All Night Gym. Huh, that's exciting. I, I remember a time in Ward 4 when we didn't have a single gym. Uh, and now all of those things uh, have changed in our nearby communities. So uh, let me, again, just thank all of the architects, engineers, development community folks involved, Riggs Park neighbors, the Lamont Riggs uh, Development Task Force, and Gwendolyn Cofield is here, uh, who uh, helped lead the Lamont Riggs uh, Development Task Force for many years and now works with us at DHCD uh, for their involvement in this outstanding project. So while this is phase one, uh, we look forward to uh, the upcoming phases that will continue to add housing uh, retail and cultural opportunities for the people of Ward 4 and Ward 5 in all of Washington, D.C. Congratulations. And now, the moment that we've been waiting for, we're going to ask the mayor to cut the ribbon.